Okay. Hey everyone, we've actually got a brand new series for you. This is what we call Quick Tips. Quick Tips. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, very creative. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, these, these are going to be a couple minutes long and just quick to the point. And this one we're going to talk about something that's available on a lot of professional cameras called the knee control. <laughs> Not that kind of knee. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of cameras, profe professional, they have at least a, a knee control on the highlights. And mm -hmm. some of the higher ends will have, actually have one on the blacks as well. But basically it's a way of controlling... The portions of the image that would normally be over overexposed. And so, Great. let's actually just take a look here. So, in this camera, if we go into the picture profile menu, mm -hmm. and then picture profile one's the one we're on. If I then go into settings, there is this menu here called knee. And it's basically called knee because it's controlling the graph, essentially, of the input values with the output values. Instead of being just a straight line, you can actually put a knee in it to bend it so that okay. the highlights of the image are actually generally brought down so they're not quite as bright mm -hmm. so you're not overexposing quite as much. So if I go in here to manual set, uh, in this case, um, I'm basically saying anything that's for the exposure value is 80% or more, we're going to put a negative two slope on it. Basically means anything that's exposure 80% or, or more than maximum, we're going to start to bring it down a little bit. So if we look up here, in this portion of the image where this reflection is, mm -hmm. as I start to tweak on the slope value, you can see that more and less of it is actually overexposed. So with a value of minus two here, we're actually getting detail in this area here that would have been lost without that slope value. And if we go the other direction to actually brighten, you can see that even more of it actually gets lost. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking with the knee control, you're gonna be want wanting to bring it down uh, in order to get give you additional latitude in your exposure. Mm -hmm. So, and this is something I've never even heard of. Yeah, it's it's one of those. Maybe things I did in passing. I just. Don't I don't think it's covered in any sort of really classes or anything it. like that. It's just one of those things that professionals that have been in the industry a long time that have high end cameras have seen it, probably figured out what it is. But it's there. I, my Z one fifties have it. My X seventy has it, and all the other variations of those cameras have mm -hmm. it as well. But you're not going to find it in like a thousand dollar consumer camcorder. Just yeah. it doesn't exist. But it's just a way there to give you a little more information in your picture. So mm -hmm. a detail that would have been lost if it's overexposed, right. you can use the knee control in order to bring it back into legal levels. So Yeah. Um, well, all I was thinking about was when you see those real estate videos mm -hmm. and everything's blown out. Yeah, because they got like out a the window. window. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're all and it always looks terrible. Right. And this would be a way to help control that. It's mm -hmm. not going to be a perfect way. You know, better way is more lighting inside or shade the window. But right. you can't do that. Like, for example, last year I had a series where I was shooting for a dietitian. She was presenting in a conference room with a window right next to her. And that window was always in the shot, and mm -hmm. it was always overexposed. And I turned on the knee control, and I brought it down, and all of a sudden, you could actually see the d detail out the window. It'll look yeah. way better. And there's also a projector on her other side, and the projector was brighter than the ambience of the room. Mm -hmm. Knee control again saved me, where you actually could actually see the image on the projector, her, and the window all in the same shot, even with drastically different amount of lights falling on each one of them. Right. So. That is helpful. Very helpful. Yeah. So. I don't know why I didn't know that. <laughs> it's. Not very well known, but a lot of cameras have it. So if you got a reasonably high-end professional camera, check the menu, see if you have a knee control, and turn it on, and yeah, help with the overexposed areas of your image. So, mm -hmm. yep. Cool. Yep. Good so, to know. Yep. So there Glad you go. I know it now. I would have just kept making knee jokes. <laughs> 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 That's all I was thinking about. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Can come with a good, good comeback. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so there it is. Uh, we'll be trying to do these tips from time to time. No regular schedule, just whenever we think of a good one. And it's a little easier on us with less information, less for me to a edit. Little. <laughs> a little, a lot easier. <laughs> so, when we get busy. Yeah. If you guys actually have a tip that you'd like to like uh, see us present, so let, let us know. And uh, there's a lot of quick trips and tips and tricks that you can use in the video world that we can share with other people. Make make our jobs easier. So yeah. So look for the knee control on your camera and take control of those <laughs> those blown out parts of your image. So Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks everyone. We'll see you later. That's gonna have to edit that way down. <laughs> <laughs>